Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am here this morning with um, my Marguerite Miller Challenge. Gosh, I think it's week eight. It is. So have my stuff here ready to do that. I'll also do a little show and tell from the weekend. Hope you all had a good weekend. I have I have much to tell you about mine. So let's get started. Let's say our hi and hugs to Carolyn, Linda, Amy, and Stephanie. Thank you all for being my YouTube crafting buddies and just so sweet with your comments. I appreciate it. Okay, week eight, here we go. Let's do that first and then we'll get into other stuff once we're done. <clears throat> okay, let's go through what we have here. So herb or other fragrant plant. So I printed out this um, is one of Mrs. Cog's crafts kits and it has a bunch of herbs on it. So we have that handwriting i went ahead and printed a few of my um pieces from my french ephemera digital on on my shop on cinnamon tea so i have a variety of handwriting so we've got that ink that one was interesting because i didn't know that i wanted to put ink on on these pages necessarily. So here's what I grabbed. Um, again, my own digital of uh, mixed media tags. And this particular tag is what I'm gonna use. It was done with alcohol inks. So I figured that works for that. Circles, I have a couple things that I'm not sure which we'll be using. These are buttons from Tracy Fox Love Junk Journals. Her, um, I think it's like fabric swatches or something kit. And then I also have my Tim Holtz splatters um, stencil and there's the coffee rings. So I thought that could be fun. An illustration, I grabbed my little Francis Brundage digitals and printed out um, let's see, four of them, four of the five. And I, I knew I wanted these in my, in my journal here somewhere in my, um, little Marguerite Miller collage journal. So I have those. And then a key was the bonus one. And I didn't want to put like a metal key or something in here and bulk it up. So what I did is I took a copy of, um, oh gosh, I don't know where I put, oh, here it is. This is, <laughs> this is a pen and I just, I made a copy of it. I did one on each side. So if we want to, okay, so that's, that's what we have to work with here. So Let's just jump right in and see. I um, I think between the writing and the um, this tag, I want to put the tag on one page, but I had a bad print on this one because my uh, printer needed a head cleaning. <laughs> so I might use that for scraps. So, so let's do it. Let's jump in. I have no plan really um, other than uh, what I'm using. So uh, I need some glue papers. Okay, I need my glue stick. All right, I think I might be ready. So, um, so yeah, hoping you all had a good weekend. We had a great weekend. We had so much grandkid stuff. It felt very busy, <laughs> which is weird because, you know, we haven't done busy in about a year. So, um, but it was, it was good. We had, Miss Addie had basketball on Saturday and then on Sunday she played in a volleyball tournament so 
we had the volleyball tournament on all day. <laughs> we it cuz they get off on their times and then and we didn't want to miss you know the start of one of her games or something. So anyway, as always, she just did a fabulous job. And then when her um tournament was done, we actually had uh, my grandson was in a play uh, for their community theater there in their town, and um, it was so cute. It was Shrek Jr. Oh, look at that. It's the exact right size. That was meant to be. I thought it was funny that one of the things was handwriting, and there's actually handwriting on the page, but we're just going to cover it up and do our own thing here. Um, yeah, so anyhow, um, we got done with the volleyball tournament, turned right on over to Shrek Jr., and my grandson played Peter Pan, and, uh, yeah, it was super cute. So, that was really fun, um, and I was really excited for my grandson because he just loves theater that they were able to figure out a way to do it safely it was cool they did I mean all the characters had masks on but the masks were like like Shrek's look like his nose and his his mouth and it was green so it's like they used the masks to enhance the costumes which I thought was really smart the other thing that struck me um, with it was was kind of how um, I don't know the the sets just blow me away. They are so good, you know. And um, let's see which one is kind of different. This one looks a bit different, doesn't it? Um, yeah, so anyhow, uh, that was that was a lot of fun. So yesterday, <laughs> uh, Sunday is my laundry day. And so I was just busting it around here, getting, um, getting things done so I could watch my grandkids. It was fun. It was a fun day. And the only thing crafty wise I got done yesterday was um, I did do a little fussy cutting, like, you know, timeouts of Addie's game and stuff like that. So yeah, it was, it was a good day. It was lots of fun. Um, and I was glad our weather here is good, so my kids driving, you know, driving all over the place for her sports was, you know, safe. Safe as it could be. Okay, so if I put this here, which is a little, little wide, but um, if I cut it off, will it be enough for right there? I don't know. It's going to be close. Maybe we'll go right here. Um, yeah, so it was it was a great day. Put that there though. Will it go this way? Yes. Yes, yes it will but I need to take a little bit off of it. Um, and I don't know, this whole Marguerite Miller challenge has been so interesting. It's been so much fun to watch what everyone else is doing. Oh, good. Um, and so that's been really fun. And I don't know what my deal is that I think I just need to cover the pages, but I do. Maybe it's because I'm not using it as a... Um, I think I'll just go right there. Um, 
I'm not using it as a planner, and so I'm just covering all the planner stuff. But yeah, that's good there. Okay, okay, okay. Now this could go anywhere on there, so we need to cover that. Um, let's choose some of this pretty one. Um, yeah, so anyways, 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 good weekend. And let's see, was it Saturday? Saturday was my youngest daughter's birthday, so we had a visit with her and we Got to read to Bucky for a little while before his little nap. He's so sleepy. He has his little bunny and he's sitting there and rubbing his nose with his bunny's ear. <laughs> so cute. Oh. Okay. Sleeves up. That's going to be the background. So let's get those put down. Yeah. And all is well there with them, so that's good. No big plans for the birthday or anything because, you know, they're a lot like us, especially since my daughter is pregnant. They are just staying home, staying safe, except for going to work for them. Don't have, don't have much of a choice there. <laughs> and they're blessed to, to have their work still going, so. Okay, that page is glued down. Now let's do this one. I mean, if I use that um, stencil, which I really want to do, and I use vintage photo, I mean, technically that's ink, right? So I wouldn't have had to have my um, my tags, but you know, I want a little color on here too. So that's gonna be the little bit of color. I have a bit of a headache today. I just realized. Wonder if our weather's going to change. That's often when that happens. Oops, Put that over a little too far. Let's try that again. Don't want to be impeding the spine here. Okay, okay, I want to figure out placement of the bits of color here. Let's see, I think I'm done with those, and I'm just going to tear out this tag because I am going to rip it up. Just going to ruthless, ruthlessly rip it up. Uh, I guess I could do this down here. Get that all off of there. Okay. So... I 
don't want to cover up those cool numbers, really. Put that there. Put that there. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. I think I'll put a little, like a shorter piece. Maybe I'll do that. And I'll put that there. Okay. Um, yeah, I wanted to know where I'm putting that so I know where to put my coffee stains. Now, where's my... So oh, I'm going to put one here. Sorry if I was probably out of camera there. Yep, technically this is ink. So, you know, overachiever. Extra of the items needed. I'm going to put that one too. These are circles too, right? Okay. And then this one, I'm just going to flip over the um, stencil so it looks a little bit different on this page. circles. So if the buttons don't work in, then it's not a big deal. That's what I'm thinking. I think I might make that not so white. Okay, let's put down our pieces of color. So it sounds like our friends in Texas are recovering from all the goings on down there. Goodness sakes. It was a weird, very weird storm to hit them. So I'm so glad they're starting to be able to kind of put things back together, have electricity and stuff. Isn't that weird about the ginormous electric bills they've been sent? I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see how that plays out because that's just nuts. <laughs> thousands and thousands of dollars. That's just, I don't even know why that happened or how. But it's got to be stressful. So I'm continuing to pray for our friends in Texas because it's just been a very weird last several weeks for them. Okay. Okay. We're building. We're building is what we're doing. Okay, so next... Let's get these cut out. Um, we'll play with kind of the images a little bit. I'm not being too precise about this, can you tell? And yet, I would like to maintain the shape of the <laughs> I 
I was noticing, you know, because I've been, I've been watching and seeing what other people are doing for this. I try not to watch, like I haven't watched any week eight because I don't want to be influenced by what other people are doing. I just want to do my own thing. So um, I don't watch it until afterward. But I've noticed that some people are doing them like way ahead, like they're on week 11 or something. So I'm kind of behind, more or less. <laughs> But it is kind of nice knowing this is what I'm doing on Wednesday when I come back from no filming on the weekend. And um, it's just nice to know, okay, this is what I'm doing. And then I'll have time to show what I did this weekend. Oh, my husband's back already. Hmm. At least I hope that's him walking around up there. <laughs> I didn't hear him come in. That's so weird. Kind of gives me the willy boogers. Well, all the doors are locked, so it must be him. I'm going to go with that. Go with that. Stay in my happy place. <laughs> oh. I don't know, maybe he forgot something of what he needed to, he was going to visit our accountant for the taxes. Okay. So, I don't know why I expected that to take a long time. This is curling because, of course, I used my oohoo, but that's okay. It'll flatten down once I close the book but okay so my people I want to use my people and I think I want to use this one and I was kind of thinking she might be good okay okay Okay, okay, okay. I am going to cut this. I'm going to have a day where I do a project with all these book page um, from this digital, I think. Because I've collected quite a few because I've been, I'm going to tear around this rather than cut it. Now, when you're tearing, a bit of a hint, I can't remember where I learned this, but if you put your thumb right where you want to tear, then it's not going to, you know, tear where you don't want it to. And actually, I feel like that kind of comes naturally, but oops, she says as she tears the poor little girl's head. Yeah, that's a oopsie when you tear their head. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking of putting this one, this little illustration over here. I think I like it in the middle there. Okay, and then I think this girl would look kind of cute by the um, tag. So, we'll tear her out. Try not to tear her bonnet. I'm tearing close to her rather than keeping any of the scenery. Super windy here today. Gosh, our pine trees are just dancing. Um, but warm. It's 45 degrees. I mean, I just was telling you that we were 20 below 
but not anymore. Okay, so there's those. I'm not sure, but on this page, I might do something like that, just a partial key or something. So let's see, but we need to get in there our herb. So we have our handwriting, our ink, our circles, our illustrations, and our key. So now we need our herbs. Let's do, I'm gonna cut the elderberries out here. So crazy article in the paper at my husband's old school where he used to be vice principal before he retired. One of the, um, oh, you know what? I think I want to tear around these. Um, one of the paraprofessionals apparently collapsed in the classroom. And my husband's friend who was the um, counselor for the school did CPR and brought this woman back to life and she's doing fine she was only 47 but I don't know how it didn't say you know what her medical episode of course because of privacy but can you believe that oh my gosh how scary would that be and then the school also had I think it's called an AED it's the shocker thing and they use that too, but um, he did CPR apparently, and wow, that was like scary, goodness. So, um, so that was interesting to to read today. So I think I'm going to put that back there with that ish like that. Um, for the other side, I'm kind of looking at the comfrey, thinking that might be kind of nice. So thank you to Mrs. Cog. She made doing the, um, doing the herb there easy. tear that out too. Um, yeah, so my husband said, oh my gosh, you're not going to believe what happened. It is interesting, both of us. I don't know if you, you other retired folk out there find this, but we're still rather emotionally invested <laughs> in, our, in our places that we worked for, you know, half our lives. Interesting how you, you do get attached. Although I have to say, at, at the college where I worked, there's a lot of the people that I worked with are gone. There are a lot of people my age. <laughs> and so it's a whole, whole new batch of people. Okay, so I think I might that there. It's kind of behind that little girl. And then if I put the key there. Gosh, I think that's enough. I'm kind of covering up the circles on this page, but I can go back in and do something to fix that, I think. Okay, I'm going to ink. A little, a little bit of definition here to the edges. Not super crazy, just and covering up where there's white tearing. Oh, 
Oh, my husband had to go to the post office too. He he asked me, so how do I do this? I just go in and I pay. <laughs> it cracked me up. That's because I mean I I go to the post office all the time with my Etsy store, but he doesn't come in with me. He usually just drives and sits in the car and waits for me, so post office wasn't in his realm of experience. Of course, I don't know how to do picking up online groceries. I mean, I don't think it's super complicated, but he, he always does that. So, you know, we should do some cross training in my house, I think. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, let us... Get some stuff down. I, I kind of want that right there. I almost think I should probably do art glitter glue so that my page doesn't warp so much. But like I say, once it's closed and stays closed for the week, it'll be, it'll once again be. Um, it'll once again flatten out. I should thank you too. Thank you so much for all of the purchases of this little Francis Brundage Digi. I have really loved using it myself too. Okay. There's that, and I do think I'm just going to go like that and cut this off. That's just kind of fun. Part of a key. Okay. Alrighty then. Let's go over here. Let's see. I want her about there, so I want this about here, maybe. Okay, I'm going to use that as my point of reference. Need a new glue page. This one's gooky. Super excited to show you what I did over the weekend. Uh, okay, let me go right here. Here. One nice thing about glue stick is it's quick. It's a little quicker than art glitter glue, I think. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to put this key down there. All right, and then Okay, and I want to go back and put a little bit of a circle right there. Okay, there's a little circle. And let's put a few little dots here of circle. Maybe a couple up here. Okay, well, now I feel like I need a little at the bottom. 
so we'll just put a little at the bottom. Easy peasy. Okay. Forgot how much I love this stencil. Okay, there's that. Um, I think I like a bit of coffee stain down here. I don't know that I'm going to use the buttons. We'll see. Because I'm liking, I'm liking that. Um, I need something across here. I do, I do, and I don't want it to be buttons, but you know what I could do is like one of these buttons could go right there. Yeah. And then um, this is cardstock. I think I will use my art glitter glue. Um, right there and then um maybe a label i don't know you know it would be fun it's like a definition or something let me look at what i have in here are these just the single words these are the single words where are my definitions Oh, there's some definitions on fabric. Yep. Just what the doctor ordered. Okay, so. Um, again, I will just use art glitter glue for that. Oh, I'm very happy with this page. It had such a bunch of sort of eclectic elements that I wasn't quite sure how it was going to come together, but I really, really like how it did. Okay, so let's just pop that right about here. And I might want a couple more of the little coffee dots, like up in here. Okay, we're calling it good. That's week eight. And that was super fun. I had a good time. So let's see. Yep, 20 minutes left. That's perfect. Yeah, isn't that fun? Okay. Well, there will be there will be pictures on my Instagram and on my cinnamon cinnamon toast uh, Facebook page. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, so show and tell. So yeah, we'll just, I'll just put that over and then put something on top of it to kind of smash it down a bit. Maybe we'll use this dictionary. Okay. Okay. So now, first of all, I did my um, Ann Brook challenge tag, which happens to Betsy. The bullion stitch and I, this is my one shoddy bullion stitch and it's horrible. I struggled so hard. I mean, I did it 20 times and I just decided the bullion stitch is not going to be part of my stitching. <laughs> it's just hard. So my French knots were fine and my pistol stitch was fine, but oh, I could not get that bullion stitch. So, but I'm happy with the tag anyway. <laughs> Jeez. So that one's done. Um, okay, now here, this is exciting. I'm excited to show you guys. 
I hope it shows up on camera well enough. Um, I have a new digital in my shop. This is um, Neutral Collage Kit 1. Kit 1 because I might have to do another one because I had so much fun. But um, so it's just neutral bases, basically. And um, I love it. I love how it came up out. I had so much fun doing it. And show you them all first. It's that one. And then this one. So anyway, super fun. So those are over in my shop. Cinnamon Tea link is in the description box. And thank you to all who have purchased it before I even showed it. <laughs> So then what I did was I had myself a play with them. This is a project that I saw Wendy on Wendy's Journal Adventures do. And she um, made, she made pockets and tags out of one piece of uh, coffee dyed paper. I will link Wendy's video below so you can look. But, um, so I had so much fun making these. I made a dozen. Can you believe that? So here's the first pair. And this is using my digital as background. And then this one. And I just love having that neutral background. Love it. And here's a mushroom one used um, Tracy Fox's labels on these, a variety of her labels. This one, um, I used Took's Craft Table. I used her flowers, her fussy cut flowers. And then these are Tracy's labels from the fabric swatch. Then I decided I'd use some other digitals. And the, this digital was from Rachel at Roxy Creations. And I mean, this is so pretty as it was. All I needed, I put on a label and a little bit of lace, and that was it. One of Took's flowers here. Um, same here. I think. I think this was Rachel's too, and this one I decided to do a little stamping on, and so did that. And then this one is uh, Tracy Fox Love Junk Journals, one of her digitals. And I did it for um, another masculine journal that's on my list of to-dos. And then this one was Antique Papery, one of her digital kits. And some of her digital kits that I played with are retired now. And so I don't know if this was a retired one, but then the Tracy Fox labels again. And all I did was put labels on this because the paper was so pretty anyway. Um, and this is Tracy's Compendium um, Compendium Digital. And this is the one, uh, the digital that Wendy used. And then these are birds from Took. So those are the ones that I finished. And then I have three more here that I haven't finished. So um, I was thinking of doing another one with my little people. Um, so here's what they here's what they end up looking like with with my digital and this one too. Aren't those fun? And then this one, let's see, this is another piece of the antique papery, and this is one of the uh, patchwork um, digitals from On The Way Craft Shop. So there you have it. I was just thinking, oh, I left all my, I left my fussy cuts upstairs, didn't I? I sure did. Well, that was silly. Well, I can use I can use stuff that I have. Um, I was gonna do this one, but we just did that. I must have had it on my brain. I'm thinking of putting that there, and then this little girl here with a with a label, maybe a little label right there. Let's just do it since I forgot my fussy cuts upstairs. <laughs> 
Oh, Gail. And so all of these I glued with art glitter glue so that I wouldn't have that um, warping problem. So, um, so I did that. Um, but these are super easy, super fun pocket and tag. And, you know, when you, you do them and you've got the whole set already just to go right into your book, which, I, you know me, I love having ephemera done ahead. But I was having so much fun. <laughs> I couldn't quit. I'm just like, okay, one more, one more, one more, one more. Oh, I want to try this paper. Oh, I want to try that paper. And pretty soon I'm just like... Oh my goodness, Gail. But I had a ton of fun. And isn't that what it's all about? So um, I had to patch this one a little bit. So I collaged this, this little bottom piece on. So I'm just going to put her so she covers up the, the little patch line there. Since it's a just a straight line, not torn or anything. So, yeah, but I thought this would be good to, that collage took me longer than they have been taking me. So, um, not a lot of time, but a little bit of time to do a uh, thing or two. Okay, I'm going to use those fabric swatch labels again because they just, they just go so well. So, I just cut this off of Tracy's Digital and... See, and then here's some more of the buttons. That's like a journal card with the buttons. But yeah, her buttons are super fun too. Let's see. What would... So that would go well. This one I need kind of a more skinny one. Like that. Those aren't super exciting though. Because some of hers have um, little bits of the, the fabric and stuff. However, I could, could kind of layer that underneath or something. Oh, I think I kind of like that. Okie dokie. Works. Okay, so I've got a art glitter. This one isn't on sticky paper, but the other one is. This is just on cardstock. Could have done fabric or something too. You know, it's just it's just so fun because you get a bunch of these made. And what I did is I did them in a mass making kind of a way where I got all the coffee dyed papers ready. I got then, um, and then I did all the covering with digitals and then I did, and then I'm doing the decorating. So, um, that worked out really well too. Okay. So there's that little pocket. Now this one, do we, You know what I could do is, oh, look, I've got this little piece of, well, yeah, let's put a tag on this. I haven't, haven't done that at all on these just because I didn't know where I was going to use them and I could always put it on later. I think I will put that on though. Get my, let's just use a, and of course you could sew around all these, um, I don't think I'm going to. I think they're really pretty as they are. So I think I'm just going to leave them as they are. I'm also wondering, one of my teeny tiny flowers from Char. Let's see. I have so many flowers from sure. 
finding the I'm not finding the ones I'm looking for. Um and butterflies and all sorts of stuff. A butterfly might be fun. Ooh. And I might do that and no label. How's that for being a rebel? Maybe a different label. There's a little one. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking of flower, but ooh, that's really cute too. And that brings out this and the blue. Okay, well, that's what we're going to do. Always reserve the right to change my mind midstream. <laughs> How are we doing time-wise? Oh, good. We've got a few minutes. Okay. And, and then I need to think about, you know... I did I did do the masculine one because I but I don't really know what my next journals are gonna be. Just haven't quite made that decision yet. I think I might make um I have several B covers made. So I was thinking about that. I also um like we did with the uh, vintage book, I've got I've got some other um, journal kits too that I could do. <sighs> decisions, decisions. And then I thought about doing a, um, another series you got of start to finish but with a different type of journal oh isn't that cute i like that a lot let me get it up here to you and then the little flower shows isn't that cute okay oh i'm so thrilled with myself of getting all these done now this one i'm wondering okay i've got a pull map hang on um Kind of wondering my uh, clusters. I have these clusters from my palette, and I'm wondering if one of those would be nice. Gosh, it sure would. Too big, but that one would be nice. My only hesitation is the is the pearl makes it hard to, um, you know, makes it hard to write in your journal. But it's so pretty that it just, ha, <laughs> pretty. Um, <laughs> it just needs to be, I think. Okay. Well, that's awesome how quick that happened. Um, let's see. So we have that there. What do we want to do on here? Oh, you know what? Um, is this is my Tsunami Rose. I had some ladies from her. See, like these ladies. Would I want to maybe do a little lady? That's pretty. It just needs a little book page or something around it. Okay, I do think I'll do that. As you know, I've been working on getting some of that stuff used. Um, I think I want the book page behind it a little bit. Give her a little something to be sitting on. Oh, 
Okay. Let's get a little book page. Excuse me as I kick things under my desk. doesn't ever tear very well with the tear ruler, but I, I could try it. See, it made a liar out of me. That's all I'm going to do with that one. Okay, cool. Let's see, I better ink that a little bit. Well, I'm feeling very happy with my video, first video of this day. I sure am. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing for the net for tomorrow for Thursday if I I don't know there's so many things I want to do that I almost it's like I, it paralyzes me it's like so many things I want to do what am I going to do we could do we could work on those 2B journals we could do that it could be Throwback Thursday and use some sort of supply or something that I haven't used in a long time. That could be what we did too. I don't know. It's going to be a surprise to me as much as you. <laughs> I think. I don't know. I'm hoping it comes to me. Gosh, I'd sure like to go for a walk this afternoon, but you know, it's um, it's sloppy out there because of all the melting snow and like the cars would go by and splash water on you and so, and it might be a little slippery See how I am. I talk myself into just staying in my craft room. It's just how I roll. Oh, that is fun. Such a fun piece. Alrighty then. We did that one. We have the one more, but I don't know that we have time for it. So... I'll have one more blank one. Maybe we'll save that and do it with bees. So that is my fun thing. So if you're interested in playing with these digitals, I sure appreciate you going over and having a little shop in my shop. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for helping me do the collage and thanks for helping me um, get my get a couple more of my pockets done. I hope you have a grateful day and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye everyone.